the Top Management Programme is a high-potential leadership programme aimed for people who are really very senior in their organisations but are predicted really to rise to the top of those organisations. So from a civil service point of view, we're looking at people who are currently at director level, but they are the future directors general and permanent secretaries of government departments. I was a graduate of TMP 46, and uh, I learned a lot. Uh, I just want to go through the things I got out of my program. They said to me, it'll be good for your career. This is the composition of the group, a, a percentage from the private sector and a number from the public sector and mixing those ideas really makes the discussions extremely rich and these are top managers. All of them have very high profile jobs and so coming together across boundaries is, is just an excellent way to learn. Although 50% of our participants are from the senior civil service, the other 50% are drawn from the wider public sector by which we mean um, organisations like the police, the fire service, the NHS, local authorities. The third sector, which is uh, essentially the voluntary sector, the NGO sector, and the private sector. And people in those uh, organisations would be at a similar level. So they would either be sitting on the board of their organisations or just one, one step below the board. To me one of the best experiences because it takes you out of your comfort zone and more and more we're facing global issues. So to come across and to meet with colleagues who have a totally different perspective both from the public and the private sector brings that richness of perspective that we will need to solve the problems of this world. Networking. Uh, actually I think that the best thing about TMP is we learned a lot but we also learned an enormous amount from each other. And, and these things uh, come to your aid at the strangest of times. When I was acting cabinet, sec cabinet secretary designate, I've been appointed but not yet in job, July, when 7 7 happened, and I thought, well, actually, I can learn a lot from being in Cobra now. So I went along to Cobra, which is the Prime Minister's favourite room in the whole of government. Right? You may have noticed, we do Cobras all the time now. Uh, I was in, <laughs> in Cobra, and uh, I looked across, not, you know, this, this new world of intelligence and police, and there was Chris Fox, the head of ANPO, the guy who was on TMP with me, and I thought, oh, Chris, explain all this to me. And it's just one of those things where you come across those people uh, uh, in all sorts of walks of life. So for me, that networking was absolutely vital. They already consider themselves to be leaders, but they may have got to that leadership position with a, an, a, an approach to leadership which they now want to uh, review and uh, strengthen. So um, they'll be looking to 
become uh, different sorts of people by the end of the programme. They'll be looking to become different types of leaders to acquire new skills uh, in leadership. They'll also be looking to greatly improve their professional networks. We have the Canada School of Public Service, but they're, they're, we're like a sister school, so it's, it's marvelous to see um, that, that it's evolving towards a national and even an international school of government. There's um, quite a junior person standing for the flip chart, looking a bit nervous, that's me. Um, so what I want you to do hmm. is to just yell out, yell out your ideas, what can we do? We uh, have people going out to parts of Central Europe, to um, Vienna, Budapest and Bratislava. Uh, we'll also have another group of um, TMP participants who will be uh, going out to Mumbai. Um, next year we hope to be going to uh, Shanghai and uh, Beijing in China. Whether we're working in the public sector or the private sector, we cannot avoid the fact that senior leaders have to, be, uh, have to take up a role as senior leaders in the world at large, not just in their own organisations. So we've really embedded that uh, concept and that idea into the programme. For the future, uh, we are absolutely clear that what we need in government is to work better across departments. We will have a whole set of targets for government that will be cross-departmental. We need to work across sectors, uh, across the private, uh, the public, uh, the voluntary, the charitable sectors, working all together. These will be absolutely vital. That is why I'm really pleased that we are now going to do something very unusual. We're going to cut the cake for the 21st um, thing. This isn't going to be two of us cutting the cake as you would get in wedding, civil partnership, whatever. There's going to be three of us representing the three sectors. Uh, that's going to be Stephen Bubb, uh, Chairman of the Kilo, um, Chairman Chief Executive? Chief Executive. Oh, um, and Samia Mirko, who is Chief Executive of AME, who is uh, one of their key providers of people for the 